Hey y'all, welcome to a new vlog. My name is Sonali and we are one day out of the bathroom renovations. Tomorrow starts the demoing and my contractor said it would take them about two days to do like the full demos for the guest bathroom and our primary bathroom. I'm so excited to see everything come together. He said it would take about like two to three weeks depending on how long it takes to get the glass for both the showers because we're doing a sliding door on the guest bathroom because we're gonna keep a tub in there and then make the primary bathroom just like a full walk-in shower, but we'll obviously still need glass for that. So in my mind, I'm just trying to be realistic and already expecting some delays, but hopefully there won't be any. Literally just two seconds ago, we kind of rearranged this area in our house. This is the loft. It's like right when you come up the stairs and right behind there, we had this little console table. I don't even know what you would call it. I think it's actually like a kitchen buffet. I'm not really sure, but we had it over on this wall and I really wanted to film because I'm about to film for a brand and I really wanted to film like against this kind of area. I just felt like that was just a little too messy and just like so much shit on there. Um, but I don't know. I feel like it's going to be nice. Maybe I'll put like a mirror on top of it. So that way when you walk up the steps, like you can see the mirror and it'll be really nice. So we're going to play around with it. We also have this wall that we could possibly put it on. I feel like it'll fit. So I don't know. What do you guys think? So the options are this wall right next to the stairs and the primary bedroom doors or on this wall kind of closer to my office. I have my camera set up there and I did a little flat lay photo of this outfit I'm doing um, a campaign for Mark Fisher for these boots and they are so cute and I love how they're like Western but they also kind of give like a city girl feel. So I don't know. I feel like they're very versatile. I'll probably do a talking video. I feel like for branded content, I prefer talking videos because I never know what sounds I'm able to use. But on TikTok, a lot of the sounds are like original sounds or if people are talking and you're just lip syncing, like is that copyright? I never know. So I just don't want to have to reshoot it. So that's why I tend to go for the talking videos and right now they're doing pretty well on TikTok. I feel like TikTok is favoring longer form content and just like voiceovers and talking videos. So that is what we're doing. Here's the outfit I came up with. I'm obsessed with this. I feel like I need to wear blazers more because it just makes me feel so cool and you can style it in so many different ways. My main priority was just crossed off my list. So I'm very happy about that. Now I'm having some lunch. Ryan cooked steak, I think two nights ago and I had half of it left. And then I made this zucchini last night. If you've never heard of the Thomas Keller technique for zucchini, you need to look it up. You need to try it. It is so delicious. If you don't even like vegetables, I feel like you will love this. It, like melts in your mouth and it's honestly so easy to do. After I'm done eating lunch, I really need to go through every single one of the boxes for the bathroom renovation just to make sure that nothing's damaged because I bought like mirrors and sconces and all of that. So they're gonna demo for two days. I think I told you guys that, but basically like I'll have those two days to, you know, order whatever I need. Um, Cause I really don't know the timeline. I think it takes like three weeks. Sophie's in the back literally killing the lamb chop. <laughs> so he said like two to three weeks, but I don't know like when they're actually like putting in everything, you know? So I just want to have it all ready to go. This Meshki sweatsuit is all I've been wearing because basically when we turn our heat on, the whole upstairs of the house gets really freaking hot and then downstairs is still so cold. Like I feel like the heat just does not reach downstairs. We only have one AC unit. Luckily we have a fireplace, but even then it doesn't really heat up the whole entire room. <laughs> this sweatsuit is super, super thick. Like I feel like all the other sweatsuits are definitely more on the thinner side. So I've been living in this. I got a question on my TikTok and I thought I would answer it here too because I thought it was pretty valuable information. Um, the question was she wanted to, you know, start doing some renos on her house. She closed on her house recently and she just didn't know where to start. And trust me, I have been there because on closing day, instead of being super happy, I was just so overwhelmed because I wanted to do so many things just especially before moving into the house um especially the floors they definitely needed to get done before then um but i just didn't know where to go who to call what to do what what's like the first step so there's two apps that i used to find contractors one being thumbtack this is more like of a legit app like you'll find more legit companies on there that have their llcs that are insured this is an app that you can kind of choose what scope of work you're wanting it could literally be like custom cabinets it could be pretty much any random task like i was even on it as a photographer when i first moved to austin i found out about the app and i put my services on there and I actually got a couple of clients through it. But if I remember correctly, you have to pay a fee if you're like the service provider. 
Anyways, you basically put in your scope of work and then they'll have recommendations for, you know, a guy who does flooring, a guy who does bathroom renovations, and then um, they'll have a couple so that you can send out like pictures of what your inspo is and what your bathroom already looks like um, and just, you know, more description of the scope of work. And then they'll either give you an online quote or you can have them come to the house and check it out and give you a quote there. My biggest tip is just get as many quotes as you can because somebody is always willing to do it for cheaper, even though that may not always be the best option because, you know, some people might say they can do it, but they don't have like, you know, the background of doing it and they're just trying to figure it out along the way. So just be aware of that. So that is Thumbtack. And then another app that I used is Next Door Neighbor. And even if you aren't doing renovations, you should definitely have this app downloaded because you know in case something happens in your neighborhood you're able to like talk to neighbors on this app i would kind of compare next door neighbor to a facebook but like more of a local facebook with your neighbors and what you'll do is just create a status and then people will give recommendations of who they have used in the past or um you know the service providers themselves will comment and say that they can do you know whatever you want to do so i found the person that remodeled our stair railing on next door neighbor and then we found a guy who mows our lawn on next door neighbor. So I would say definitely use Thumbtack for the more serious renovations. And then if you have like a one-off thing or just more minor things, you could go ahead and use um, next door neighbor and like post a status and see if you can find anyone on there. Um, but I will say, I feel like those people are most of the time not insured. They don't have LLCs because they're doing it for um, just extra cash here and there. Some of them do have LLCs though. So if that's important to you, just check before. The contractor I hired to do our bathrooms was from Thumbtack, I believe. Also a reason why you should get a bunch of quotes is that if they know that you're getting a bunch of quotes, so maybe you give you a discount, they basically just want to beat that other price so that they can get your work. So it's a good thing to maybe, you know, tell one of the contractors that okay yeah i'm looking around for quotes because then they'll be more competitive with their prices i'm planning on doing a full video to show you guys the before and afters of the bathroom and give you like a full bathroom tour tell you guys where everything's from so i'm going to go ahead and film the befores but i thought i would give you guys a little clip in here but i thought i could walk you guys through everything that's going to be done to the bathroom in this vlog too so going into the primary bathroom we have this linen closet over here first we're going to change out the doorknobs to match i'm not really sure where they're different colors and the trimming on this door we're going to make it a little bit more modern as well as the baseboards we're going to do a lime wash paint i literally just bought it on lowe's because i didn't realize not everyone has lime wash paint and even only home depot carries it and sherwin williams doesn't even have it so that was interesting to know um and then this is the overall before of the bathroom we're going to do a walk-in shower so taking out the tub over here i really wanted a custom linen shade and they were going to run me like 500 dollars just for one so i found it on amazon for way way less like more than half the price so i'm very excited to add that to this window and then we're going to do some more trimming on here i'm not really sure what's up with that part back to the shower i really wanted to add some vibey lighting in here so we're going to try to maybe do an led strip at the top and then also in the soap niche which is going to be on that side where the water spits out and then i'm going to have a valve on this side so that you don't have to get wet like turning on the shower it did give me an option of knocking this wall out to making the shower even bigger but i feel like it's already pretty big so I didn't want to you know add on that extra cost and speaking of extra costs we're gonna keep our toilets because I feel like they're new like they don't look bad I think we're just gonna change out the top of the toilets because these are plastic and I would like it to feel a little bit more luxurious so I think that's definitely more an affordable route over here is probably like the biggest change of it all well i guess the shower too but the vanity is going to be so beautiful and i still did not get that custom countertop quote and it just seemed really complicated i also don't think that lady took me very seriously and maybe that is god telling me that i don't need a custom countertop so i think i'm just going to stick to the white and it's going to be double sinks if i didn't say that already three drawers it's going to be way taller than this because it is so short and I have to like bend over to do my skincare, which is not very comfortable. And then we're gonna do two mirrors with three sconces, get rid of the overhead lighting. I was gonna knock out this part of the wall because it's just kind of unnecessary. I don't think it's load bearing. I asked everyone that gave me a quote and they said no, um, but we're gonna just put niches in there so I can have extra storage. Walking into the guest bathroom, the floors are the worst DIY job 
We didn't even catch it when we first saw the house, but the inspector caught it. So we're excited to finally get rid of that. Again, the door trim and all the baseboards are gonna be looking a little bit more modern. We're gonna go with a lime wash paint that's a little bit more moody for this room, just cause it doesn't have a lot of natural light. I already got my vanity. It's gonna be a marble top with two drawers and a little space to put towels in. So it's gonna be really cute. I'm gonna do one mirror, obviously, and then do two sconces on each side. So the overhead lighting, once again, is going to be removed. We're gonna keep the toilet it and for the shower we're going to get a different tub because this tub is just not a great material so we want something a little bit more durable but we're also going to tile all the way up to the ceiling and put glass sliding doors so this bathroom is a lot more simple less changes but it's definitely going to make a big impact we're going to have an unboxing party because we have a lot of packages that are needing to be checked for the bathroom so these are some sconces and ryan just opened up one of our mirrors so it has like a gold side to it. Finally cleared the dining room table and all the boxes are over there. Yeah, this is just Jones Sport. It's new. It only has two slots, so I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not. And how many golf bags do you have? Right now, three, but this one's gonna be a big push cart for my carry bag. Pretty cool, guys, huh? <laughs> All right, taking my last shower with the tub. I need to brush my hair, but I feel so good and fresh. And now we're gonna go on an adventure. I'll have Ryan explain. We're gonna go to San Antonio. There are, <laughs> is a guy selling some Scotty Cameron gear that's all sold out mm -hmm. for like retail price. And he said it would give me a deal if I picked it up from there. So it's like a, I don't know, 60 mile drive from here. Well, what is it that you're getting? Two t-shirts and two visors. Not clubs or something? No. <laughs> We're driving hard. to San Antonio to get it's, you t-shirts? It's harder to get the merch than it is to get the actual clubs. I have like three Scotty Camerons. Okay. Well, anyways, I like car rides with you. Yeah, no. I'll let you be DJ as long as it's not Tate McRae or... It's going to be Tate no, McRae. No, DJ then. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who else just came out with it? Well, not Ariana Grande. Just her song, which I don't mm. love. Yeah. But well, I'll be DJ then. More play that morgues. Play that morgue. Reporting live from San Antonio. Can pick up my stuff. So let's see what he says. He's going down or what? Is this so loud? Mm. Got him. Army green, black, black visor, white visor. Is that a puppy? Yeah. What the? It's got a camera logo. A it's a little Nichus. A little Fiesta one too. Aww. Hey, why does it literally look like Sophie? Is this why you wanted it so bad? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the only way I convinced Sonali to actually come with me is to get this like Thai curry barbecue fusion place. So she agreed to ride an hour with me. <laughs> We're gonna try this place. It's called Curry Boys like Barbecue. Oh, it's a pink building. It's kind of cute. <laughs> this spread looks absolutely insane. We got some brisket, we got some pork, and this one's like green curry. This one is penang. We got some nachos, um, corn, chili, Garlic noodles and then potato salad. My mouth is watering. As some of you may know, we're trying to do the calorie deficit thing right now. And today was definitely a cheat day because we started out strong with appetizers and the sides and then the entrees. The meat was good, but I feel like the curry needed to be more flavorful. Not even more spicy. It just like felt like it was watered down. What do you think? You know what I mean? Uh, with the melon curry, maybe, but it was only after eating the green curry. It was really flavorful. Mm. It tasted watered down. It's still good, though. I would give it like an eight if I wasn't, like, literally, that's what I've eaten in like at least a month. I'm not getting after soap for it now, like, <laughs> uh, Oops. <laughs> One girl I know that lives in San Antonio um, replied to my story of the sign, and she was like, oh my gosh, that's really good. Or she said something like, oh, it's so yummy. If you guys live in San Antonio, what is like the best restaurant here? Let us know, because we might be back. It's really not that far. It doesn't feel that far. Yeah, everyone well. says San Antonio food's better than Austin. So. Yeah. 
So I'm, now I'm curious. Good morning, I just took my hair out of those heatless curls and I did the larger one today with the side part and I really like how it turned out. Um, it'll definitely fall throughout the day, but I'm honestly fine with that because it's a little bit curly for my liking right now. Bathroom renovations are starting today. They're coming a little bit later than I thought. It's 9.41 and I think the contractor is gonna get here at 10 and then the rest of the people are gonna get here at 10.30. And we tried to like kind of organize yesterday. I think you saw us taking down all the boxes. Tried to organize, you know, all the faucet fixtures are over there. Now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like I'm missing a box that it said it was delivered. You didn't see like any like um, shower things, right? No. I saw a mirror over there from the floor still. Hmm. I just kind of sworn the shower stuff got delivered. Hmm. Also, that ladder is so cute. Honestly, it could look really cute there with some blankets, but I think I'm gonna put it in the bathroom when they're all done and put some towels on them. Yay. <laughs> Where is she? Where is she? What? Ryan. You let another cat in our house and not Fendi? No, I was literally just walked in and I was downstairs. What do you mean? <laughs> I thought I sent you a question for it. <laughs> Guys, there's a cat in our house. <laughs> Wait. No, seriously, where is it? You know what's funny? I was editing the vlog of Rosie and talking about how we haven't seen Fendi in a while. You don't think that's Fendi? Hey, lighter. You see her? Not really. What the? Kitty. Come out base, here. Base, Hi, kitty. All right, okay, bye. Wait, I think that's Fendi. Ryan, I literally think that is. This is 100% Fendi. I know Fendi when I see her. <laughs> Ryan says it's not. Oh, and there's our tub. Fendi's just coming to check out the bathroom renovations. Huh? I see this cat walking on the side the whole time. I really think it's Fendi, babe. They have the bathrooms closed, so I can't really see inside, but the tub is out. And the sink is out. Final conclusion, I'm not sure if it's Fendi now because I don't remember Fendi's eyes being so light, but it does have the same exact print that Fendi has on it. What should we name you, buddy? <laughs> She's so cool. She doesn't like cats either. I think the cats can come inside though. I think someone left it out and it's cold. Mm -hmm. We're a little animal shelter, Sophie. <laughs> Get over it. Sophie's like, heck no. <laughs> Let me find another house. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm looking at pictures of Fendi. Fendi's darker. And I swear, okay, maybe she got sunned out there. In the cold. Yes, well, there's still sun out there. Maybe she could lighten in the sun. Okay. I really think this is her ride. I really think because she has like the white s snout thingy. Where'd you go, little kitty? Okay, sorry. I love this thing. If you are Fendi, blink twice. Oh, you don't blink, okay. <laughs> How are you gonna tell me that's not Fendi? Hey, buddy. Welcome home. What you doing, buddy? Oh, okay. Um, that's a mirror. Can you like not? <laughs> All right. Oh, actually, that's the countertop. You good, Fendi? You can play on the countertop. Okay. That is Fendi. It's so chunky, babe. Yes, I know. Look, they have the same one. Oh my gosh, Wendy, I didn't think I would see you so soon or ever again. Come here, my soul cat. I want to cry. Why don't you love me? I don't want to leave it alone. I'm so dramatic. I feel like I'm about to go on another road trip because I'm going to get my brows touched up. And it's highly recommended that you do a touch up. And I feel like I do need a little bit more done to like 
the um, arches and then the fronts. I feel like this brow took a lot better than this brow did and this is the problem brow. Um, so I'm gonna see what she says about that but I'm gonna go all the way up to Cedar Park and I'm just so dramatic because it's a 37 minute drive which honestly would not be anything in Georgia where you know I grew up because I grew up in the suburbs of Atlanta so like if I wanted to do a city day it would be at least like 40 45 minute drive but now I'm just used to everything being so close here in Austin so like anything over 15 minutes is like ugh, damn but also now that I have a house that's a little bit further out I feel like it's been bumped up to 20. Today we're doing a touch-up um so now I came in about four weeks ago and during that process it goes through a healing period so she noticed at first they were nice and bold. Mm -hmm. After that, they went through a scabbing phase and they started disappearing. And it wasn't and that bad, actually. Like, really, this, when you scabbing. told me it was going to scab, I was, like, worried because I had social plans that weekend. And I was like, yeah. oh, no. But it really wasn't that bad. It so, was tiny flakes. Like, was it yes. itchy at all? So for some people, um, a little. A little. Yeah. Like, in a certain spot. Gotcha. So then it lines up and then the color resurfaces and it also heals very light. So mm -hmm. it's not going to be as intense when the color comes back, mm -hmm. but it does come back very slowly. Um, so the touch up is because we go back in any areas that are too light. We just go and we add color. This is your first time. So your skin is fresh. Mm -hmm. So we just make sure that we just go back in and make the color a little bit bolder. So you're good to go for like a year or two. Mm -hmm. That's a little depending on like if you're working out a lot, if right. you're out in the sun, they can fade faster. So you're more than likely to come back in a year or so. All right, but let's yeah. do it. So we're gonna go ahead and add a deeper color so we can darken it up. Mm -hmm. And also we're gonna go just a little bit deeper so it can stick on this one. But of course, this is a situation where you want to build the brows and you never wanna do too much in the first session. Right. You wanna see how the skin does. And again, this is what the touch-up is for. So we can go in and we can go back in and we can make them a little bit darker, a little bit thicker. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna remap everything, Sonali, okay. and then I'm gonna show you when we're done. So mm -hmm. we can, again, go back to our game plan okay. of making them fuller and fluffier, and then we'll be good to go from there. Brows are done and now we have to go through the healing process again. And honestly, the hardest part about this whole thing is just waiting to see the results because they look so good the first day. But again, they do scab over, they do lighten, and then they come back with the color. She shaded in more on this eyebrow. It's just always been my problem eyebrow and it's always been just a little less hairy than the other one. I have to stay out of the sun, I cannot sweat, and I also cannot touch them with water for seven days. I just got home, so let's check out the primary bathroom. Floor is out. Oh, pretty much everything is out, I guess. We did end up taking out this wall right here. There was just like a little bit of a wall for the tub to fit in perfectly. But now our shower will be a little bit bigger. It's so crazy to see it all ripped out. Good morning from me and my crazy brows. They are looking dark today, but they're looking good. I worked out with my friend Kiana this morning and we are gonna try to like make a workout plan. So we decided on Tuesdays and Fridays for hair washing days. I try not to sweat too much today um, because you can't sweat in these. You can't put water on them. So I have to be like really careful. Anytime like I got my um, eyebrows laminated, you're also not supposed to get them wet at least for 24 hours. And I'd always forget and like splash my face with water and then like quickly dry them off and like shoot. So this time I'm being very, very careful. Um, I usually wait till noon to eat, but I woke up at 5.30 this morning, went to my workout and then went to um, do a headshot session. I would not have gone up that early if I didn't already have the headshot session planned out. Um, but anyways, I'm really hungry right now. So I think I'm gonna make a chocolate cherry smoothie. I don't think I've even ever had this, but I've seen a lot of TikToks about it. So I don't have protein powder that's chocolate. I actually just purchased it because I also really wanted some protein powder that's peanut butter flavored. So I got some stuff off of Clean Simple Eat. So I'll update you guys on that when it comes in. I got the brownie batter and the peanut butter. So those just sound really good. And then I also got like one sample packet of the coconut cream. Anyways, today we're just gonna be using the Spare Life protein drink. I've been drinking these kind of often. We're just gonna pour this in. That will act as the milk and the protein powder. Maybe just a half of a banana to start with. And then cherries. I got this humongous bag at Central Market, I think. Oh wait, no, maybe Costco. Yeah, Costco. That would make sense. It's so pretty big. I don't really know how much of what to put in here, but I think we'll just do like the whole fair life the protein thing. I also got this at Costco. I don't really know what else to put in here, so let's just try this and see how it tastes. Okay, let's see the consistency. That's pretty damn good. It's more milky than I usually like, 
but oh did i spell <laughs> um but honestly we'll take it it actually tastes really good i give this a 10 out of 10. it almost like reminds me of ice cream it's really really good this will be my new breakfast fixation. We decided to get out of the house for a little bit just to not be around so much noise. And we decided to go to Radio Bar East. It's Radio on top bar. of us. It's like a bar coffee shop. They have a big live music stage back there. I'll show you. Oh, kind cool. of looks like bangers from this angle. Yeah. Isn't it? Um, it's our new newest location. Mm, they have good food trucks here. I've had the burger. It's really good. You're wagging your tail, you like being in the sun. <laughs> it feels too good. I like when she scratches me. <laughs> I truly have not felt this ugly in so long. <laughs> my eyebrows are just fucking crazy and my hair is just not great either because I've been wearing a hat all day to hide my eyebrows. So I look like a grandpa, but don't mind me. Um, I'm just cooking some broccoli and for dinner, we're just gonna have some frozen food. These are one of my favorite dumplings. These are the best, this brand. Oh my God, I like crave them, especially the sauce that comes with it. I actually had another photo shoot later in the day. It was like at 3.30. I left my house at like three, only got home at like 5.30 because um, it was supposed to be a one hour shoot, but it ended up being a two hour shoot, which is totally fine. It was a newborn shoot, so like I totally get it. Things happen and things are crazy, um, but I'm just watching YouTube, trying to decompress because for some reason I have like a pretty bad headache. The drive there was 23 minutes. On the way home, it was 50 minutes because I was coming from like Westlake and um, it just doubled the time on the way back home. So I was like, goodness, just get me home. I did take a small nap right before. I was really trying to get through the day without taking a nap, but I didn't drink like an Alani New or anything. So I told myself it was okay to take a nap. And then I just went to the shoot, but I had to pop some Advil when I got home because I was just like not feeling great. The contractors actually just left. So I will go up and take a look at the bathroom soon. I think Ryan should be on his way home from the gym. He actually went to go play golf. Then he went to shower at the gym because that is just what we're gonna have to deal with for the next like two or three weeks. Um, one of the faucets or the shower fixtures, something was off about it. So that's a big bummer because I think that might delay things a little bit. I just purchased a replacement and then I also purchased another one just in case it happens again. But I really wanted this specific style. So hopefully it works, but it's only coming on Sunday. So we'll see. And then also, I don't know if I told you guys, but when the tile got delivered, one whole box of one of the tiles broke. Now one box is only getting delivered next Thursday, which that's like a big deal in renovation world because I feel like it's all a domino effect. Like you have to have this in before you have this in and like all that stuff. But at least it wasn't the master because the tile I'm using for the floor there, I'm also using all up in the shower. But anyways, I kind of knew we were gonna run into like some delays or some bumps in the road, but I have something exciting to share with you guys. Don't mind the dying flowers. I definitely need to take care of that soon. After the bathroom renovations, I want to come up in the kitchen and put a farmhouse sink in and then also do some backsplash and then maybe move the fridge all the way over here which means we have to run the plumbing from the laundry room all the way over there because fridges need plumbing and i want to did i say put backsplash because i definitely want to do that but i also want to get another ikea what's it called cabinets for here and maybe like have an appliance garage of some sort. I know they sell something like that. I just have to measure it out and buy it. Um, and it will match these cause these are Ikea cabinets. So that will be perfect. So the fridge is going to go all the way over there. And then I just thought maybe I could add while they're putting in the plumbing, a pot filler right above the stove. Like that would be so nice to have. 
Um, and then I want to get rid of the microwave and that cabinet and then put in a hood. Oh, and also paint the cabinets. I don't love the gray color. I want it to be like a cream white color, but that is what we have planned for the kitchen. I did ask um, my contractors to like measure out my sink and see if we could do the farmhouse sink. Um, originally, we were gonna do the custom countertop on the bathroom vanity. So I was like, oh, while he's here cutting the vanity, could he do the farmhouse sink? Cause basically they have to like cut it open because the sink that I want will get rid of this whole section and then there won't be this thing in the middle. So that will be super nice. So I'm waiting on him to tell me how much that's gonna be. And then I'll probably go ahead and order the farmhouse sink. But this is actually perfect because these two things can knock right out. Like they're actually meant to come out. And then um, the farmhouse sink will literally fit perfectly. I think this is 36 inches wide. So there's a bunch of different sizes. So we'll just have to get that one. Dinner is served.